All right, this project is called My Excellent Vacation, and it's named after a workshop we did some time ago called also My Excellent Vacation. And in that workshop, the participants made uh, scratch projects um, that told the story about a favorite place or a favorite vacation that they went on. And then in that project, in that workshop, we actually had them connect those projects, those scratch projects, uh, to a Google map that we made um, with points all over the United States where they connected um, their travels to a map. So each person you could click on a link um, in the map and it would take you right to a scratch project that told the story about that. So to get started we actually want to get rid of the cat like we've done in other projects so that we can start with our own um, our own uh, sprite and that sprite is going to represent something in the story. And In my case since I took a canoe trip with my mom um, and I have some pictures of it, I'm going to go ahead and draw a canoe. So I'm going to go paint a new sprite. First thing I want to do is zoom out because I'm going to have this sprite floating on the full background. So I zoom all the way out and then I'm going to use the paintbrush and then I'm going to use gray because mine was an aluminum canoe. I'm going to do just the bow of that canoe. If you can imagine sitting in a canoe how much of it you'd see, or a boat, how much you'd see as you move forward, you'd probably only see a certain amount of it. So this is called a point of view. And there's my canoe bow, travel ready for the water. So I click OK. And my canoe is floating up in space. Now to be able to have that point of view, I actually want to move it way down here to give the illusion that you're inside the canoe. And it looks pretty big in this whole picture, so I'm going to shrink it a little bit. I'll go up to the shrink tool, click on it a couple times, and then you can see it sort of floated up in space. So to get rid of this shrink tool, I have to click up here to get the arrow and then move it back down. So in this area, um, the next thing I want to do is animate my sprite to give a little control. Now you can animate your sprite in many different ways. Um, you could uh, animate it when you clicked on it. This is the when sprite clicked. Um, you could have it notice things. Um, you could use a block and do an if-then statement. Um, if touching the mouse pointer, then do something. Or you could have it touching a color. There's a lot of ways to interact with things on the screen. You could even have it know where the mouse position is, the x and the y coordinate. Because as you move it around, you can see those change as well. I'm going to be very simple. I'm going to go up to control and I'm just going to make it go left and right as if I'm paddling and moving through water. So to do that I need a key uh, control block when space key pressed and I'm going to change that to the right and then I have to move it over right so I need a motion block and have it point in a direction and is this right? 90? Yep, 90 is right. Then I want it to move a little bit so I'll just grab a 10 steps and see what happens. I'm going to click on it, and there it goes, moving that way. Now I'll try the left. Nope, because I didn't make those blocks yet. So I click here, click on the top block, pull it down. That's that same set of blocks, except that they both go right. So I want to change the down arrow to left, and then the point in direction to left. And then I'll go right, and now I'll try left. And it is going left, but it's upside down. That's because it rotates when I change direction. And instead of rotating, I think I just wanted to go back and forth, so I'll click this one. Let's see what happens. Oh, that looks better. It looks a little funny, like it's flipping a little bit. I think I don't want it to change or flip at all, so I'm going to just leave it like it is. Don't rotate. And now, as I move gently through this water that you can't see yet, it will move back and forth. Okay, at this point, since my uh, character, or my sprite, my first person or point of view sprite lets me um, travel, I'm ready to um, um, show the space where I was, show the place that I visited, show my vacation, show that special space I like. And in this case, I have a couple pictures that I took from my trip. Um, and uh, I'm going to go get one of those that shows um, the view from the water. I actually took it while we were paddling, so there's the view from the water. So to do that, all I have to do is click on Stage. 
And there's nothing right here. I click on the background tab. And then I'm going to click on import because those pictures I saved to the desktop of my computer. I'm going to click import. Go to outdoors. I can look through them. There's some on water. So it looks like maybe there are some that I might be able to use. But actually, since I have my own pictures, I'm going to click the desktop button where I kept them. And you can see the photographs right here. There's my mom in the canoe. Um, here's my mom getting ready to go on the trip. Here's one of ducks. Um, that's going to be one of the places that we visit. And then here's on the water. I'll start with this one. I click on it once. I click OK. And suddenly my canoe is on the water and ready to paddle. All right. So now we have the, um, the background with my canoe going over the water. And um, it seems like I can go ahead and tell the story. And we're going to use the, um, the scratch sound recorder to be able to record a narrative. Um, we're going to go ahead and add a recording right inside the stage. And to do that, you can see the sound tab. Sound tab um, allows you to play things. It allows you to record things and import things. Since I haven't recorded anything, I'm going to go ahead and click on the record button. What that does is it brings up the sound recorder. It's pretty simple. Uh, the sound recorder shows the level here. That green line goes up. It has a play button. It has a stop button. It has a record button and then an OK and cancel. The cancel button just gets rid of this in case I didn't want to record anything. The OK is what you click after you've recorded something that you want to save. Now it might be a good idea to write down some notes before you start recording because sometimes you can forget what you want to say right in the middle of it. So to start with, you click this button to record and then you actually have to move over here and click this button to stop recording. Then you can play it and hear it. I'm going to go ahead and click record, I'm going to stop, and then I'm just going to click OK when I think I have the right thing. So here goes. All right, this is a story, um, a little bit of a trip where um, my mom came down from her town and visited me in the big city. So it was a really beautiful trip. OK, now I've stopped. Now I'm going to click OK. And right in here, I can click play black, Playback, or um, I can go ahead and um, save that. So let's try it. All right, this is a story, um, a little bit of a trip where um, sounds like it works. So now I have a recording in the first part of my recording. So I'm going to name that. I'm going to call intro. And then I'm going to go to scripts. OK, once we're in the scripts area, we have to figure out how to play that sound. Um, the easiest thing to do is to go to the sound. Now my sound. Um, when I look over here is in a pink block in the sound area and if I click on it I should be able right. to hear it. This is a story. Um, a little bit it's of a making some sound. I can hear it so I'm going to stop it. Came down from her and I want this to play when I first start uh, my project so I'm going to use the green flag. I'm going to go up here pull out a green flag and stick it on here and then I'm going to go over here and click the green flag to test it. All right, this is a story, um, a little bit of a trip where um, my mom came down from her town. And you can see that I moved um, the arrow keys, but I don't know that anybody would know that right away. So I'm going to wait a little bit um, for people to, before I start playing this story, just a little pause and then let people um, kind of play around with my project a little bit to learn how it works. So to do that, I'm going to put a little wait in here. Um, I think I'm going to have it wait about five seconds. Then when people start it, nothing will happen for at least five seconds. Let's see what happens. All right, this is a story. Um, yep, a looks like it worked. Where, uh... So I'm going to stop it. So right now this says play sound until done. And then I'm going to have it wait a little bit again. I'll have it go, I think, um, three seconds. And then I want it um, to have Scratch change this background. 
Since I'm in the stage, and I'm in the background, I'm going to add a different background picture. Let's find out what I have. So right now I have on the water. Let's add another picture that I took by clicking on import. And you can see right here I have one called ducks. I'm going to add that. Um, you can see it right away got put into the background. And uh, I know that I want to start my project with showing, the, showing on the water and then I want it to go into the duck area. So I'm going to jump back to my scripts. And you can see there's the two different places. So back in my scripts, I'm going to pull this block off and I'm going to have the first thing happen, which will be that I want it to set my background, not to ducks, but to the one that's called on the water. So when my project starts, it'll start with this background, it'll play this story, it'll wait a little bit, and then I'm going to have it switch the background to the ducks. And then after that, I'm going to record one more story, and that'll be the end of our project. Okay, so let's test it. It's All waiting. Right. This is a story, so it was a really beautiful trip. And hopefully it's going to change the background in just a minute. And there's our, my new background. And right now... My script has stopped, so I'm going to add one final thing here, and that's a recording of what we saw. And there's the two ducks that we saw. So I'll go up to um, the sounds, and then I'm going to record a new one. And that's the play, that's the stop, and here's the record, and here it goes. We were paddling along, and there they were, the little ducks. <laughs> I'm going to click OK. Now I have my second recording. This one I'm going to name Ducks. And I'm going to go back to Scripts. I'm going to go up into Sound. Oh, there it is. There's one called Ducks. Let's put that right here. And then I'm just going to click on the duck. Well, I want to hear it first. We were paddling along, and all of a sudden, came up to an area where we were hearing the sound. We didn't see any. The sound works. So I just want to see, let's see. I'm going to put it back together. We'll run it one more time, and then that should be our excellent vacation. Let's try it. There it is. It started at the right one. I'm on the boat. I'm going to move my little canoe right. around. This is a story, um, a little bit of a trip where um, my mom came down from her town and visited me in the big city, and um, I took her out on a little canoe trip um, to paddle around. Um, what's nice is that um, when we were going um, across these local lakes in our city, uh, we saw all sorts of things that we thought were pretty neat. Um, the, all the lakes are connected, and then you can see in this one, um, they're connected by um, little... Um, little canals in between, and then they have bridges that go over it. So it was a really beautiful trip. Okay, it's going to wait a little bit. We were paddling along, and all of a sudden, we came up to an area where we were hearing the sound. We didn't see anything, so we kept paddling along and paddling along, and then finally we got close to shore, and there they were, the little ducks. And that's our project. So the other part of this project is you can save it on the Scratch website, and then you can take a look at um, how we connected uh, Scratch projects to the Google Maps, um, looking at the resource, the mapping resource that's on the Media Mashup uh, website. So thanks.